The time has come to say good night, to say sleep tight till the morning light. The time has come to say good night. It's the end of a lovely day. The time has come to say good night, to say sleep tight till the morning light. The time has come to say good night. It's the end of a lovely day. We've had so much fun today. Good evening and welcome to the CB Base Bedtime Hour with me, Mr Copping, for our World Book Day special today. So I've got some friends with me today and I'm going to read this book, which is one of our 100 Reads book and it's a brand new one, so I'm not sure if anybody's had it yet. It's called Chocolate Cake and it's by Michael Rosen, who's brilliant. When I was a boy, I had a favourite treat. It was when my mum made chocolate cake. Ooh, I loved chocolate cake. My mum, she says to me, listen, Michael, if there's any chocolate cake left over at the end of the day, you can take some to school tomorrow and have it at playtime or lunchtime. So I used to go to school with a piece of chocolate cake in my little box and I'd be walking to school. Yeah, it's in there. I know it is. And I'd get to school and it would be playtime or lunchtime and I'd open up the box, take it out. What's it going to be? Chocolate cake it is. Open up the paper. Gonna get it. Gonna look at it. Mmm, -mm, yeah, I love a good... Oh, yummy! Ah, well, look at it. Gobble. I loved my mum's chocolate cake. And one time, there was some chocolate cake left over at the end of the day, and I went to bed. And I was fast asleep. And then in the middle of the night, I woke up. And I thought, oh, chocolate cake. Maybe I could go downstairs and have a little look at it. No one would know. So I got up out of bed. along the passage. Careful not to tread on the creaky floorboards outside mum and dad's bedroom, because if they wake up and find me, I'll be in big trouble. So, really quiet. Are they still asleep? Yes. Okay. Along the passage, down the stairs, into the kitchen, open the cupboard and yeah, there it is. So I take it out. Just have a little look at it. Mm, look at it, yeah, oh, what's this? Mm. And then I notice some little crumbs on the plate. So I think if I lick the end of my finger, I could pick up some of those crumbs and no one would know anything about it. Chook-a-chook-a-chook-a-chook. Oh, yeah, little sticky bit there. Gobble, gobble, yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. 
and then I notice on the side of the cake there's some little crumbly bits just falling off. So I think if I take a knife, I could just tidy up that little bit. No one would know. Scrape, scrape, scrunch it all together and there's the crumbly bits and the sticky bits and it's all going to go in there. Yeah, belly, belly, belly. And then I notice that I've tidied it up a bit, a little bit over there. Then maybe I could just even it up a bit over here. So I take, and I've got a hole. So I take the knife out again, and this time through the crispy icing and on top through the squashy icing in the middle. Scrape. Oh, and I've got a whole slice this time. Yeah! And it's all gonna go in there. It's a belly, 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 and it's mm, oh, gobble, mm, gobble. And now I've got the taste of it in my mouth and I can't stop myself. So I go, yeah, yeah, and I've got these slices. So I go, gobble, gulp, gobble, gulp, gobble, gulp, gobble, gulp. And I can't stop myself greedy. Oh no, it's all gone. Oh no, they're bound to notice now. A whole chocolate cake doesn't just disappear. What am I going to do? I know. I'll wash up the plate and the knife and they won't know anything about it. Good thinking. Take the plate and the knife to the washing up. Really quiet. Wash up the plate and the knife. And don't forget to dry it up. Get the cloth. And don't forget the knife. And don't forget to put it away. Plate in the cupboard and the knife in the drawer. And then back up to bed. Shh. Up the stairs. Along the passage. I know where the creaky floorboard is now. So all I've got to do is tread over it. Creak. Because if I tread on it, it's going to make a noise and I am dead. Careful now. Are they still asleep? Yes. It's okay. Into the bedroom. Into bed. Under the covers. Ah, nice warm feeling. Chocolatey cake in my belly, goody, 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 and I go to sleep. In the morning, I get up and I go downstairs and I'm having my breakfast and mum is busy over there and she's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, don't forget your book folder. She hands me the book folder and I'm busy having my breakfast. She's busy over there. She's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, there's something else. There's something nice. There's something. There's some chocolate cake left over there from yesterday for you to take to school today. And I went. Oh, did I miss a bit? All right. Yeah. And then she says, what's the matter? You usually jump at the idea of having chocolate cake. And I went, yeah, it's all right. It's OK. And then she's looking at me very closely. Just here next to my mouth and says, what's that? And I said, what's what? It's not chocolate cake, is it? And I said, to know. And then she went over to the cupboard. It's gone. The chocolate cake's gone. You haven't eaten the whole of the rest of the chocolate cake, have you? And I said, I don't know. You don't know, she says. You don't know. I don't believe a word of it. Now, off you go to school. No. Before you go to school, go upstairs to the bathroom and wash your dirty, sticky face. I went upstairs to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and there I saw it, just there. Chocolate smudge. 
chocolate blob. And I looked and I thought, maybe next time we have chocolate cake, she'll forget all about it. Do you think she will? Well, I hope you enjoyed your chocolate cake. It's time for you to go to bed now, but not before I munch on my chocolate cake. Mm-hmm.